for some football. And it's going to be a great afternoon here at home as well. Beautiful shot of the city with our action cam. Just a few high clouds mixing in, but overall we are expecting plenty of sunshine throughout the day today. 29 degrees currently in Pittsburgh. Those winds are coming out of the south southeast at about six miles per hour and around the area. These temps slowly starting to climb now that the sun is up. Upper 20s, low 30s, 33 currently into Altoona, 32 into Deep Creek, 33 Cranberry, Newcastle at 26, 34 Washington, Wheeling. You're sitting at 32 this morning. Now, over the next 24 hours, Things are going to start to change. So today, don't have to worry about much. Sunshine again, a few high clouds mixing in, upper 40s, low 50s. Those clouds really start to thicken up, though. Late night tonight, around midnight, will be mostly cloudy. But the timing of this system has changed a bit. That's coming in. Yesterday, it looked like it was going to hit early morning for rush hour. Now it has slowed down a bit. It does look like it will start to roll in late morning and into the afternoon. Those are those high clouds that are starting to filter in and mix in with some of that sunshine this morning. But we do have high pressure in place, and that's what's giving us these really quiet, nice conditions for the weekend. It's also bringing in that southerly wind flow, so it's pumping in that warmer air from the south. But there's that low pressure system we've been talking about. It is going to continue to filter in, bringing us the warmer air as a warm front lifts in. Then that cold front moves through, ushers in that cold air, and will give us a threat for snow showers and those uh, gusty winds as well as we head into the upcoming weeks. So let's map it out here. Again, today don't have to worry about much. Those clouds really thickening up late night tonight. But as we get around 10, 11 o'clock, um, you can see it, it, this has been changing all morning long. So make sure you tune into Ray tonight uh, to get the latest uh, from the weather models. But uh, overall, it does look like in the northern panhandle of West Virginia, you'll start to see that rain snow mixture as early as 10, 11 o'clock Monday, late morning, afternoon. It's going to filter in as those temperatures start to warm up. It is going to transition over to rain. So really need to be careful on bridges and overpasses. It does like a look like a period of just all rain around 3 o'clock into the afternoon. Then as that cold air starts to filter in, we'll start to see that transition 7, 8 o'clock to, uh, to Monday night. Excuse me. We'll start to see uh, low visibility could see some batches of some steadier light snow. Not expecting a lot of accumulation, but the thing is when you have that transition from rain to snow, there could be some icing. So we'll be keeping a real close eye on it. Then all of that cold air just continues to filter in early Tuesday morning, especially east and also south of the city could be dealing with some steady light snow showers and this will just continue to stick around all week long. We'll be dealing with that lake effect snow. 50 degrees for a high today. No snow to worry about on your Sunday. Sunshine, just some high clouds. Now as we continue into the overnight, down near 33 degrees, so hovering near that freezing mark, we'll notice those clouds continuing to increase. And as of right now, looks good for the morning commute. But as we get into late morning into the afternoon, rain, snow, changing over to rain, then back over to snow Monday evening around 7, 8 o'clock. So trying to give you the timeline here in case you do uh, work late on Monday, you'll be dealing with that rain, snow mixture possibly. And also we are expecting to see the scattered light snow throughout the rest of the week and colder air moving. It's tomorrow.